Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new episode of Get Since 92. Giving you guys um, some music reviews sometimes, um, life uh, experiences, um, some advice, um, thoughts on like my views and perspectives on life in general, entertainment news, and all that good, good stuff. So, this video, I've always wanted to do a video on um, haters. Uh, so, be prepared. This is coming from my authentic self, so I'll get vulnerable here. And I will not take any prisoners. And this will be like Dragon Ball Z Super Saiyan style and Mortal Kombat Fatality style. So guys, sit back and relax. This video is let your haters be your motivators. Alright, now we all have come across a hater or a hater or more haters. I would say pressed, um, envy, bitter bitches. Um, you're going to have people out there. There's something about you that they don't like. And sometimes, in some circumstances, it can be very disturbing, very ugly. And, you know, they can also be bullies. So, what I try to do, handle situations like this, I ignore and I also reflect back on how I handled it at times. Sometimes, even in my childhood, I have dealt with haters in school. Um, I got bullied. I got picked on. You know, like I said, I love going to school. But there were some days I didn't like going to school. Um, I dealt with, you know, kids, being kids, class clowns. And, you know, I got picked on for little things like my glasses. Or it could be like, oh, because I'm a good student. Stay out of trouble. Or just kids being mean. But... How I carried myself with resilience and held my head up high without giving no shit. And then as I really progressed into my teenage years, um, I did suffer depression, anxiety. And I was so like motivated to do well in school. That was like the main goal, the priority. And I kind of felt like I lost other things that were really valuable to me, that were really important to me. My well-being as a human being. But hey, I got through it. I pushed through. Um, your girl recently, I am officially an alumni. I graduated um, this spring in May 22nd at 3 o'clock at Townsend University. So anybody who is um, a student at Townsend University or is an alumni at Townsend University, shout out, go Tigers. We did it. I did it. Ma did it. The Queen did it. And I encourage others to do it. You can do it. Don't let no raggedy ass bitch stop you from coming at your dreams. Or you got some of these pathetic people. And it depends on the situation. You can even tell and smell and spot from a distance. You know a person that has so much. They seem to appear to have it all. But it's something about you that they don't like. So what I try to do. I just ignore it. And sometimes you have to tell a bitch how you feel. Sometimes you can't play, always play the nice, oh, have to get along. Oh, pull you over to the side. You know, um, oh, we need to talk. Yeah, in some circumstances, don't get me wrong. It's okay to do that because you don't want to have conflict to begin with. But you got some, these mofos, some people, they want to have conflict. And some of them have like that ugliness in them. It's like this. When they mess with the wrong person, they will realize, oh, I messed up. I messed up really bad. You know? And it's like this. You messed up, you messed up. You know? And my thing is, I've always wanted to be the inner badass that I've always wanted to be. Because it's easy for me to go off on somebody. It's easy for me to say, I'm not taking your stuff. But, when you have to do it, when you have to, when you feel in your mind, in your spirit, in your presence, do what you got to do. There's no right or wrong. Especially stand up to a bully. And bullies, they're people that they live in a bubble. They live in a world like where they feel like they have to, you know, live up to society's standards or society's, um, you know, way of, I, I guess this. You know, they have a, like, smoke and mirror thing. And listen, I'm human too. But I've never picked on nobody, and I've never been a bully. I've always been a, like, 
self-defense person. I've never been like going out my way to attack somebody to put them down just because I feel insecure. There's some days where I am insecure, God damn it. There's some days where I don't feel my best, but I don't go out my way to make somebody else feel down because I don't feel good about myself. But you got these ugly mofos, they do that and it's pathetic. And I will. I swear to gosh, if I even tell you guys any more stories, I swear I will keep you guys entertained because I have a lot of stories that I could talk about. And man, I tell you what, sometimes I have a third eye. I'd be like, you know what, some things I don't know. But I encourage people to not give up on themselves and realize that you do matter and realize you have a place and you have something to offer in this world. You're just going to have haters. You're going to have people that don't like you for no reason. You didn't do nothing to them. But you also got to have a backbone. And how you do it, sometimes it takes the wrong person to mess with you. So what you got to do is learn how to maneuver a situation. If you see a situation where you just think for a minute, okay, how can I handle the situation? Or what did I do that, you know, caused the situation? Sometimes it'd be like a scenario where you didn't do shit. But the person got so much ugliness in them that they put it to you. So what you got to do is say, okay, this is the person, you know that person doesn't like you. You know that person is very pathetic or pretty much miserable. So you let that person know that you don't give no fucks about them. I hate to put it out there, but it's just how it is. Because how they showed you and treat you with their colors, how they may try, will try to make you feel, or how they made you feel. And understand, people experience this with like bullies or hate or how like, you know, how they felt very, um, you know, they felt intimidated or they got their feelings hurt. Hey, we're all humans. What I try to do is, it's going to sound mean, but whatever, just do it. Not, I wouldn't say technically be, say, be a narcissist, but be like them. Okay. Like give them a taste of their own medicine. Because when you do that, it'll let them know, oh, I messed up. You know, and sometimes some mofos, they mess with the wrong people and they try to act like they're so this and that. When you freaking go in for the kill, they, 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 it's like they won't, they won't even know what's coming. That's why I also say never underestimate a person. But... Let's get on the positive side on how to handle situations like haters. Don't let them make you feel less than. Know your worth. Know that you are loved. Know your value. And don't, do not, I repeat, just ignore what they said. Brush it off. And keep it pushing. Because this will give you a peace of mind. And this will give you some clarity reflection thinking in your life you'll be able to move forward swiftly freely you can do the things that makes you happy do something productive anything that makes you you know in a good mood like me I do art art is something that I love to do I love to paint I love to draw I love to write I'm a writer I'm a creative writer I need to start back writing too because writing helps me a lot makes me express myself too and also what I love too is music. Music gets me through my day. So whatever I'm feeling down, whatever I'm feeling like, you know, I'm lonely, I go resort to music. And I know it's hard. Sometimes it is hard. I have empathy for people that, you know, they've been bullied, picked on for being who they are. Um, I'm compassionate. But I also have said, don't let nobody just disrespect you because they feel like they can't. You got to beat them at their own game and it's okay you know how you handle it I'm not trying to dictate nobody how to handle situations because I know for a fact how I handle some situations I could have gone off and if I did I wouldn't sweat it okay I wouldn't lose no sleep but you got some people they're very ugly and very trifling and I often have said you know what people say what goes around comes around how you treat others yeah it's true because nowadays I even notice on 
like I said, people out in the world, you know, you can't let people, like, define who you are as a person. You know who you are as a person. So when you have a person that try to paint a picture of their opinion, their thoughts, their perspective, who you are as a person, that's their opinion, okay? That doesn't mean that it's true of you because it's their opinion. But when you stand your ground and you stand your own two feet, you let a bitch know. Nah. You know? Because those kinds of people, I have to say this and be blunt, some of them can be very dangerous in some ways, some shape or form. And I have to be honest, I will like turn to Super Saiyan, period. Or turn to Mortal Kombat, period. I, I love video games too, so you can look at those like video games as a reference. Superhero characters as a reference. But... Like I said, they're not used to people like nice people. They try to look at people who are nice. They look at them as weak. Oh, I can try to take advantage of that person. Oh, I can try to be slick. No, bitch. You get the fuck on. And I really carry that mentality for the rest of my life. And I will because I'm a nice person. I don't bother nobody. I don't mess with nobody. I don't go on my way to make people feel like shit. I don't go out my way to make people feel like, oh, Cause listen, I'm a human being too. Who the fuck am I? Who the fuck would I be to make somebody else feel small? So it's like when you do that, you know, you just carry yourself afloat. You know, you talk to yourself too. And also talk to yourself. Say positive things that you like about yourself. Have that confidence. And I know confidence is something that also some haters, they don't like too. Especially they're threatened when they're threatened by your confidence. Oh my gosh. You know when they're threatened by your confidence, you know that yeah they'll be you know, they'll they'll threaten by how you carry yourself. And it's also a reflection of them as a person. It's also a reflection of who they are as a person. That's why I've often have said this. When I see through you the first time, I don't put nothing past you. And I have to be honest, that's the mentality that people need to carry. And it's okay. It's okay to have your guard up. It's okay to analyze the situation. Be like, okay, hmm. So this person is this. Do I want to be around this person? Do I want to associate myself with this person? And I have to be honest. I'm not here to like be like, I don't judge a book by its cover, cover either. But I have had experiences where people that seem to be cool, they turn out to be fucked up. And it is what it is. A spade is a spade. I'm not going to be sitting up here like, Oh, you said this about me, but no, you gonna see, you gonna see. And also, like I said, I even watch like even some of these reality shows, and even like oh my gosh, that's like those are that, but that's a different story. But even the same thing, you know. And then people in real life. So I think, you know, people, you know, just take one day at a time, and don't just let anybody you know disrespect you and you tell them straight up I do not tolerate your behavior towards me I do not tolerate you disrespecting me I do not tolerate you trying to belittle me because you have an issue for whatever reason and you have to let people know straight up you can't always be nice you can't always be cordial to like some people because they have childish ways and unfortunately there's some people that got childish ways they don't care about nobody but themselves and it's sad and also how they feel like oh I can pick on somebody because I can't like bitch who like bitch who you're supposed to be okay I thought so anyway and I think that some people you know I have often look at how they do have a you know personality that comes across as you know, threatened, bitter, and just straight up like, you know, trash. And there's some trash people out there, okay? So don't be fooled. Um, I think that as time goes on, people, we grow, we evolve. And we are designed to become better human beings. I mean, we are, like I said, we're capable of doing great things in life, you know, we can be able to look at things from a different perspective but I also like how with me 
I've gotten more tough skin. I've gotten more of a backbone. I, I just, it's like that inner strength that I have in my spirit. So my spirit, it's pretty much, you know, what, it's my calling. It's my destiny. So I want people to have the same thing. I want people to have that same energy, that same flow. I want people to have that like, okay, yo, I can do this. I know sometimes there are days where I don't feel my best. I don't feel good, but I can do it. Once you say that and you repeat that to yourself, you'll be good. Once you have that feeling of like admiration about yourself, once you feel that like I am beautiful, I am worthy, unique, you will be unstoppable. I get inspired by people that I look up to for years. I get inspired by people like Missy Elliott, um, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, Prince, Timbaland, Kendrick Lamar, J. Cole, Aaliyah, Sierra, um, Tinashe, June's Diary, Les Brown, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, Gandhi, Muhammad Ali, Jim Kelly, and Bruce Lee. That's just a list. And Mariah Carey. I love Mariah Carey and Brandy. This is a list of people. And Beyonce. Okay, so, so you get the message. So, it's like, <laughs> it's like those people, they really are like my inspiration. So, whenever I go through something, I can quote and recite a lyric from a song. I can... Think about the interviews like a person has sat down and said, I went through this. I went through that. I, I did that. You know, this is what I went through. But I pushed for I kept going. I kept moving. And it's okay to look up the people that you admire and respect. Those are the same people that they've been there. So they know how it feels. They have haters. They still got haters to this day. And also, I just make sure that I keep my distance from a raggedy bitch that pretty much if that's it's, it's like you just got to keep your distance from the kind of people because that way you show them that you don't fuck with them and it's okay because you're not gonna hang out with everybody and that's just life I even in high school like even my childhood like people I always want to have friends but some people you can hang out with because that mentality of like being bullies you know trying to make you feel small but you're not in the clique you're not in the group and you're like, you know what, it's okay, I'll be the black sheep and I'll wear it proud. Ha ha ha. And I'll wear it loud. Ha ha ha. So it's like that's what I'm going to do. Um So yeah. I think that um you just gotta put it, you know, in your own perspective. And life is something else. Life is a journey, you know. So we just got to remind ourselves that we are beautiful, that we have something to offer in this world and be around good people and positive people and have a small circle. And sometimes if you want to be by yourself, it's great, too, because you love yourself enough to know, like, listen, I don't have to hang out with a whole bunch of people to feel validated or to feel like I'm worthy. Sometimes I like being by myself. Sometimes I like being by myself and I like being, you know, who I am as a person and you know, I, I just like being to myself. That teaches me confidence to say, listen, I can do it on my own. So, um, yeah, you just got to keep going. Because, like I said, there were times where I could have given up, but I didn't. So, I kept pushing. You know, and guess what? I accomplished something in the end. That's a beautiful thing. That's a joyful thing. Nobody can't take that away from you. And also, I like that people who say... You know what? I was almost there, but I almost gave up, and they didn't. And they guess what had happened? They reached their goal. They reached their goal. They fucking did it. That's what I want to do for the rest of my life. That's what I want to do. So I want to inspire other people to be themselves and just do it. And if you guys want me to, like I said, make more videos about this, let me know down below. Let me know how you guys feel.
because I love hearing other people's stories too. You guys can share your stories, your experiences down below because I love seeing how people, how do they handle situations and this is an inspiration for me as well. So yeah guys, let me know down below how you guys feel because at the end of the day, you are beautiful no matter what and don't let society and ugly people and bitter people and hating ass bitches keep you from being great because you can do it. Okay, so like, comment, share, subscribe down below. Don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button. Don't be afraid to hit that notification bell. And as always, your girl signing out, the queen. Stay tuned on the next episode of Get Sense 92, Dragon Ball Z, narrated reference. Peace. Bye-bye.